I don't want to sound like one of those people who's like super obsessed with something, but camp is like my life. I was always really shy. I was an only child. Um, and then I came to camp and I was gonna just be shy. But I had this amazing friend when I first came here and she was like, yo, you're gonna start talking. And I just became this wonderful extroverted person here. And I feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't really have like a social aspect to my life if I hadn't been introduced to being at camp. more open. Yeah, at camp. I wasn't like scared of dying or anything like that. Like I was always positive through the whole thing. I just live life to the fullest because when you get cancer, this is like anything can happen. If I had the opportunity to erase my cancer, I wouldn't because it's given me the opportunity to meet with new friends at this wonderful place called camp. I've been coming to camp for eight years and I keep coming back because I have so many good friends here and we're all like a family. Cancer has given me a more positive outlook on life because it helps me appreciate what I've been through and it helps me know there are other people out there just like me, just kids my age, that have been through the same thing and it helps me realize that I am a good person. I wouldn't take back my cancer because obviously I wouldn't be coming to camp and like having the friends that I had and like the close relationships with them. What keeps me coming back is the people because they're like filled with, with excitement and it makes me like want to be around them more. It's more like a second family to me. The people at Camp Sunshine like Emma Wheeler and Scout Morgan, I, I, that's what I come back for because I like them. This is the best thing, probably, um, that cancer has opened up for me, I guess, because they're so nice, you know? Everyone's so nice, and everyone's, um, everyone's sort of been through the same thing, so you don't really have to worry about if they treat you differently because you had cancer or something. I don't remember a lot about my diagnosis because I was very young, but I do remember staying in the hospital a long time, and I had a few visitors. But I didn't like having visitors because I didn't want people to know about what I was going through. I didn't feel like they would relate to me. I got to hang out with a bunch of younger kids my age and like play games with all of them. And I named my monitor Fred, who was like my best friend when I was in the hospital. I really look at life more than what I used to now. And I, I don't take life for granted anymore. Than what I did. When you're sick, you're always in like the hospital and like you're always in and out of like surgeries or whatever. And so you don't get to like be outside as much as you are. And like when you, when you're like off of like treatment and stuff, you like, I don't know, it's just like you see the world differently. I always knew that I was not invincible, I guess. Um, but now, I really think that, you know, if I can beat that and I was two, then I can do anything. No, I wouldn't go back and change it. The reason why, because I wouldn't have never met, like, the people that are here and that, the people that show that they care. If I had the opportunity to erase the fact that I had cancer, I definitely wouldn't because it's given me so many opportunities in life. It's let me make, meet so many great people that I just feel like my life would be totally different if I didn't. I would have been shy. I would have been one of those people that sits in the back of the classroom and doesn't say anything to anyone. And I have such an amazing family here at Camp. I would not erase having cancer because it's an experience you can learn from. Definitely your outlook on life is different because it seems like your life is shorter then when you're going through the chemo. But a lot of good things happen as well that you don't really think about it, like coming here, the people at the hospital, getting out and going places and meeting famous people and all kinds of stuff like that. So I wouldn't. I'm Scout Morgan. I'm Bailey. Michaela. My name is Kavish Buffington. I'm Nicole. My name's Cooper Evans. I am 15 as of right now. I'm 15. 16. I'm 16. I'm 16. I'm 15. And I was diagnosed with ALL. I had ALL. Leukemia. I was diagnosed with leukemia, ALL. ALL.
much as leukemia. I was diagnosed with leukemia back in 2001.